first time I've been. It's the first time I've been live in a really, really first long time. time. Been, um, first time I've been live in a really, really long time. Um, first time I've been live in a really, really long time. Um, first time I've been live in a really, really I keep hearing an echo for some reason. I keep hearing an echo for some reason. Um, Alright. Maybe it's because I was listening to myself. If I am having an echo, I apologize. I wasn't sure what was going on. So, today, we are in why I wish my phone would work. I wish my phone would work. That's all I wanted for today. Um... Why you, why you be in a thing? Stream chat. Welcome to the chat. Hello. Alright, we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club, which I have never played. I know nothing about it. I just know it gets a little dark and dim at one, some points or the other. And there was warnings that I accidentally clicked through leading up to this saying like, you know, if you suffer from depression and whatnot, you probably shouldn't play this game. And great, I do. So let's try. Um, it says, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Which means I probably didn't need to turn the mature thing on because... I mean, I'm at least... 13 years old. Let's go. So bright and colorful. Not for, suitable for children. Oh, it's so happy. I'm going to turn the music down a bit, though, to make sure that I'm still able to be heard. It's super cute. Oh my god, it's like, alright. Alright, and like I said, I've never played this game before, so let's go with a new game. Uh, enter your name. Uh, wait, I'm a boy. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm a boy. This one, Aston. It's a guy's name. Let's see. Oh, hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. It's one line, and in this game, is making jokes at me. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and would get tired of waking, waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Aww. Huh? She's cute. I overslept again. Her shirt looks like a turtle shell. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Her face is... That's mean, Aston. Okay, I'm, I assume I'm kind of a jerk. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, I am mean. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I'm not that much of a jerk. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near... The streets become increasingly spectral with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Aston, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told 
you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Why does she care what I do? Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Me too, buddy. I feel you. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. It's literally the basis of high school. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. A neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Oh, I made her happy. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Because I'm a dude. And this is what happens. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. It's me. It's me. Oop. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Most, motiv most people would be motivated to go home after school. I don't know what my character problem is. Clubs. Oh, right. I gotta pick a club. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Which I wish my school had. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. I don't know where these voices I made came from. They just happened. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. I'm not impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, I thought. So, you know. Know what? Well, then you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. What is her club? Oh, Sayori is vice principal of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Oh, god damn it. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Alright, bribing me with food is good. I'd be bribed with food. Eh. Don't make promises you can't keep. I would break this promise right now. I can't tell if Sayori is really all that much of an airhead or is she so cunning and planned all this out. I went out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Let's, let's go! Oh my god, what am I doing? And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. If I had a dime for every time. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year class and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Girl one, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Aston, what a 
a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I'm going to quickly forget all these voices I made up. Da, da, da. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Explain why both the girls that have the shorter hair, they'll both have like a pink. No other colors? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. What does figure- wait. What does figure have anything to do with that? She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. Oh, okay, it's like if pink. They're kind of similar. And they both have the red bows in their hair. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Aston. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> There's a bunny. Hi, bun. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Aston. We made room for you at the table so you can just sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Oh, I want to sit next to Monica. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki whiffs the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate are used to make ears. So cute! I want to see the cupcakes. Can I? Can we see the cupcake? I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sarori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face, so I probably should have muffled that more. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. It's a cupcake. Just eat it. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Yes. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for y you, you dummy. Oh, God. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, car carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the te teacher's tech gave us permission. Blech. Trip it over my words. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that, that's not... Oh, God. I've been in this room for five minutes. And they're all fighting over me. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. 
well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everybody. Oh god, this already seems bad. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing over the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica m must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Aston, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Yeah, you and me both. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Damn right you keep quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels built on deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign world and equally impressive. Yuri goes on queerly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh, if that's not foreshadowing, I'm... Mm. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror recently. That jumped. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Why is she looking at me? What am I gonna do? Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! 
And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori siddles up to... Siddles? Siddles. A pine Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh? Uh -huh. Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Uh, n no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Jesus Christ! She is a she has to be like a psychologist. Oh my god. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your works, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable and share hers. Uh, and instantly all that confidence just poofed. I, I, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um. Yeah, let's do it. Of only one out of the four. <laughs> well, I guess Monica said yes. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get to more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Yay! Whoop! Hello, little shrimp. I see you down there. It's bad the first thing I thought of was the baby shark thing. Isn't that right, Aston? By the way, anyone still just tuning in now, Aston's me. It's one of the only guy names I really like. Oh, my computer's telling me it's dying, so I need to plug it in. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. I probably can't write. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. <gasps> Someone just say baby shark. But I can call you little shrimp. Little shrimp do 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 little shrimp do 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 little shrimp do 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 little shrimp. Oh god. If somebody's watching and gonna be mad at me. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. Damn right, put my foot down. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lost my train of thought. They all look so sad! Ugh... Oh. God damn it, I'm gonna give in just because they're all... Well, okay, so Natsuki doesn't really look sad. She looks kind of mad, and it's the popping on my hips thing. More Yuri... Oh, no. Crispin Coles is watching. Ugh. Who let Crispin Coles watch my stream? But I'm not gonna lie, Crispin. I'm not... I am leaning towards Yuri. I kind of like her. Or Natsuki. I don't really like Sayori. Monica's... Okay. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But she just got shorter. I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Aston... You, you all... I just made them super depressed. <laughs> I'm a dick. What guy in his right mind wouldn't want to join the harem club? Good point. Natsuki is... Yuri is best girl. Natsuki is trash. She's also a little bitch. I'm defenseless against these girls because I'm a guy in an anime game. That's why. Oh, how am I supposed to make a queer head decision when it's like this? Because they, they're not even... Look, one of them is looking at me. Everyone else is just like... Whoosh, whoosh. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <sighs> right. 
Okay. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh god, they all jumped up at once. I was expecting one at a time. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. No, they all did it once. You are lying. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Bitch, get off. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Then, let us that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Aw, thanks. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks at me once more. Aston, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, God. Y yeah. Can I really impress the, impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Aston, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after for clubs. Sure. Might as well. You egg. Oh. Yay! Oh my god. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. The one with the most normal sounding name in the whole game, or non-Japanese name in the whole game. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Surrounded by... Alright, well Natsuki doesn't have boobs, but I'm surrounded by six boobs and I'm a guy. I'm assuming I'd be happy. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen when whoever likes your poem the most. I don't even know who am I going for? I don't know. I, I know nothing about this game, so I... I don't want anybody to ruin anything for me. I'm just going to go with what I think. So what do I like? Um, Let's go with Vivacious. I like Chills and Tolerance, so I purpose Spinning. Ooh. Parfait, because I'm fat. Twirl, Misfortune, Comfort, Wrath, Secretive. Let's go with Nibble. Adventure, Feather, Bubbles, Existence, Entropy? Entropy? Captive, Waterfall, Anime, Email, Graveyard, Anime. Explode, Doki Doki, Ambient, Peaceful, Play, Clouds, Unrestrained, Heartbeat, Extreme, Shame. Heartbeat. Precious, Tragedy, Party, Uncanny, Loud, Childhood, Silly, Bed, Kitty, Embrace. Kitty! I wonder if she's jumping because I'm picking words that relate to her. But also, there's only three of the four girls here. Um, analysis, sticky, lazy, uncontrollable, destiny, scars, wonderful, ocean, warm, puppy. Ocean. Valentine, awesome, incongruent, disoriented, rose, shiny, charm, flea, family, together. I'm going for Natsuki right now? Oh, I mean, okay. Shiny. Fireworks, unstable, cute, sucks, disarray, contamination, hope, meager, empty, whirlwind, contamination, smile, infallible, hop, covert, covert, bleh, bloop, unending, unrequited, massacre, promise, inferno. <laughs> Let's go with massacre. Poof, cheeks, happiness, bliss, not Alexa bliss, melody, jump, landscape, beauty, sunset, memories, uh, jump. Rain cloud, grief, sugar, fluffy, laugh, games, broken, effulgent, clumsy, and chocolate. Let's go with fluffy. Whistle, whisper, despise, fickle, daydream, marriage, incapable, desire, horror, love. Is that 
between marriage and horror? It's Halloween. Horror. Nightgown. Marshmallow. Ribbon. Suicide. Bunny. Heaven sent. After image. Dream. Mouse. Raindrops. Considering I have one right next to me, I'm gonna go with bunny. Infinite. Depression. Disown. Skipping. Sunny. Excitement. Tears. Kawaii. Headphones. Hopeless. I'm gonna stick with depression. Sensation. Lust. Heart. Fear. Sparkle. Swimsuit. Bouncy. Misery. Tenacious. Amazing. Can I point out swimsuits here? One of these things is not like the other, and I'm knowing a wrestler named Stephen Lust. Disaster. Giggle. Skirt. Eternity. Journey. Dark. Romance. Hair. Sweet. Anger. Skirt. Breathe. Starfscape. Papa. Lollipop. And agonizing. Dazzle. Nature. Hurt. Question. Shopping. Lollipop. Blanket. Death. Pain. Time. Vertigo. Essence. Forgive. Judgment. Pleasure. Insight. Uh, death. Fun. Determination. Electricity. Aura. Fantasy. Flying. Atone. Melancholy. Pout. Passion. I liked Haruhi Suzumiya. Okay. Oh god, it's the next day already. Hi again, Aston. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Aston. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. What else do I do? I don't do anything. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? I wrote a damn poem. It's English class. Ugh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me he, you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. At least, and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Damn it. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature. That's one thing I wanted to point out before. Like, there's a lot of text in manga. It's not, like, short. Read the Death Note series. It takes a while. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Aston always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. I'm not having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Aston can become good friends too. Uh, um. Sayori? Hmm? I'm making her super uncomfortable. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. And you'd think she wouldn't put me into it because she probably likes me. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. W wait, Se Sayori. Uh, uh, me? First day in, I'm already getting gifts. Um, n not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Oh, she's super embarrassed. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't really want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I, I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Oh. 
It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Oh, she's so cute! Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being cute? It's not accidental, bro. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite not me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Whew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect did Monica to kick off some sort of scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her and in case she needs a hand, there's something in the closet. That is a humongous closet! It's like a whole other room! Damn! I want a book I want a book closet like that. You looking for something in there? Frickin' Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Not here! Not near! Maybe over there! How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. Oh, please don't let the whole stack fall. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. I'm pretty sure I was looking at that. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. There, I can think of at least five other things. I know the, that feeling. I'm looking at it. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was talking about food. <laughs> God damn it, it's a manga. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Me neither. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. How much manga do I read to assume it's terrible? If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on the, that door. What door? The, that's solid wood. She points to the classroom door. Oh. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Aston. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Boo! Boo! That pun, boo! In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Oh god. Oof. Hello, Blue Phoenix. Don't just stand there. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. It's a huge closet. Why can't I just sit there? She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. Salty, Nat. Super salty. My voice is not helping. <laughs> she points on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Why am I sitting on the floor? I take a seat. Oh, good. Yay. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Or we can't read at the same time. We're trying to read the books together. Oh my god. Eh? Why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just 
say that. You make me feel all weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arm and scooches an inch away from me. Good. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. I don't want to be sitting this close to her. I picked the wrong name. Words, apparently. Not that I can say it's partially bad thing. Yes, it is! I don't want anything to do with her. I open the book. <gasps> It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space when, while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Who do I want to go for? Um, probably Yuri. I, I initially thought of Natsuki, and now I'm not sure. Um, but, I, again, I don't know how to go for anybody. This is my first time playing this, and I really want to see just where I go naturally on my own, and then I'll go back and pick certain people. Um, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, talking to you. Of course I'm paying attention. I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Underlying of, like, every anime manga. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Depends on your slice of life anime mangas. Azumanga is pretty good, and so is Lucky Star. Just saying. Choose the long embellished words for Yuri, cute words for Nat, bittersweet words for Sayori. So Monica's not an option by that logic. Okay. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? <laughs> Little angry huff. I mean... Well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. I am having serious deja vu right now. I feel like I've done this part already, but I've never played this game, and I remember being in the chat. This is weird. Moving on. Apologies. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. If this is still the foreshadowing. Like, when they all get into their backstory, and when some of the romances start to happen, that's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Oh, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, no. Ugh. Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. This isn't even our final form. Hmm. <laughs> Good save. Uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. I will point out the name of it is Parfait Girls, or something like that. You don't need to bake a parfait. Yogurt, fruit, granola. Where's the baking? Even I can do that. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? Oh, that's why. That's just coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the time I got into this manga. Like, I would never get into anything because it's in a manga. Liar. I feel bad for anyone that's imp anyone that impressionable. <laughs> it's like the awkward, ah, yeah, I didn't do that thing. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh! That's actually kind of cute. 
to change like images like that. Why is she just staring at me? No, now she looks like she's 12. Now I have a problem. This is... Ugh. Bruh. What you want, Crispin? We read on for a few more minutes. Dude, I didn't mean to pick Natsuki. Alright? Didn't mean to pick Natsuki. It kind of just happened with the words. I'm literally just going with initial instincts here. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Don't worry, I'll break her heart. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. You're garbage. Crispin Coles, everybody. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. So, fun, interesting fact. I may not want to go with Natsuki, but this is something I actually like doing in real life. I actually either like reading to people, so I'm glad this game involves me actually doing dialogue and voices, and I actually enjoy sitting with people and reading. I like doing especially the Boston Copley Library. It's huge. I'm not starting over! I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? Big eyes. Hmm? You don't? Um... She doesn't have friends, does she? Except the literature club. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Feed Yuri chocolate. I don't have chocolate to give her yet! Where am I gonna get chocolate? Like, I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Not over here. I can't even bring it up to them with them, them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Story of my life. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Also story of my life. Natsuki is like Caillou. <laughs> Crispin said Natsuki's like Caillou. I don't know. People call him Crispin Caillou at House of Bricks Wrestling, so it's funny. Ugh. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much switch. Must. Much, much, much less. Friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. I just called her a loser. I just called her a loser. But it's probably harder for someone like you. I still just called her a loser! What is her hair clip even holding? I don't know. That little, like, bang piece. Here. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And you just called yourself a loser. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. That you have books? Comparing books to sex toys are two separate things here. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Bitch. Maybe. No, bitch. <laughs> but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh. So. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot that happens. She's literally like the person who takes you to a movie and literally jokes through the entire thing because she knows what's going on and you don't. Let me read the damn book. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. 
but it gets especially bad when... Uh, yeah, no spoiling shit, bro. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. We established she doesn't have friends. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? I really hope the game generates something for me, because there's no way I actually wrote anything. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Thought, though, you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! Embarrassed noise. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Just say a foot. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah. But... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. How often do these clubs meet? Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. I, you... She's so pushy. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Oh, alright. It was appropriate name that there's a Bullet Club parody of this. By tomorrow? I only get, got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. Because you can't read and watch shows at the same time. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? I'm going to go with that one. I'm scared. Because I'm probably a pussy. Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Why didn't she just leave it in the notebook? On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Yeah, which could technically rip out of. Hi, Jam and Jack Connor! What's up? I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. P Yuri! That is an easy decision. She, like, is the better... But she cares more. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Hmm? She's just... Stare. Oh, okay. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. How short is my poem? Uh... Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um... It's fine. Don't force yourself. Uh, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. It's horrible. It's garbage. <laughs> this is your first time writing a poem, right? It's so bad. It probably is so bad. Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? It's so bad. I I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. No! D did I just raise my voice? Apparently I did. Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Oh, oh no. 
I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It's either really bad or she really likes it and doesn't know how to tell me. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I've recognized in new writers is that they try their, to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes, because she's smart. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that got into writing a poem, a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I, I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Oh, sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought beh process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After that, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Or after all? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate behind the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That's really good! That's nice! I I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What was terrible about that? What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh, th that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. That was mild? I was already getting bad images from that. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? She said she liked horror, so yes. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Aston. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive! It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Why is she counting on me? Alright. Who should I show my poem to next? I am going to pause here, because I have yet to save this game. And I want to make sure I do. I will be coming back to this at some point. But thank you for everyone who joined to watch me. Again, I still don't know a lot about this game. And it seems all happy and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure it's going to take a nosedive before I know it. 
So thank you one more time. Please like, subscribe, consider donating if you liked what you saw and I can do more of these things. But that's time for another match. Bleh. That was bad. That'll be my next match. Sounds better. <laughs>